Hello students, I am Thira Singh, your English teacher and today we are going to learn the sound of music part 1 and the name of the part is Evelyn Glennie listens to sound without hearing it. So how can a person listen to a sound without hearing it? To listen, hearing is very important but how does Evelyn Glennie listens to sound without hearing it? So this part of this chapter is uh, surrounded by the life of uh, Evelyn Glennie. Okay, this explanation uh, moves around Evelyn Glennie's life. So let us learn. But before that, let, us give me, uh, let me give you a brief introduction of who was Evelyn Glennie and what did she do. So Evelyn Glennie was a multi percussionist what is multi percussionist a person who plays different musical instruments she was very much talented she won awards grammy award for best chamber music performance etc okay many more okay but let me tell you one thing that evelyn glennie was profoundly deep she was quite deep okay she could not listen to uh, say hurry uh, uh, listen to anything she cannot listen to sounds and how did she how did it happen we shall learn in this chapter okay so her full name was dam Evelyn Elizabeth and Glini you can see some pictures uh, in your <coughs> video these pictures are of Evelyn Glenny and she was while she was performing her musical instruments in some stage okay stage so so let us uh, move forward to the chapter let us read rush our crowds jostle for position on underground train platform so it was time where crowds were very busy people are very busy and the platform was full of people and they are jostle for position jostle for position means they used to push each other Okay, dhakka mukhi. They used to push each other to get position in the train so that the or get position in the platform so that they could go to the train first. A slight girl looking younger than her 17 years. So there was a slight girl, a little girl who was actually looking very young than her age. She was 17 years old but she looked more younger like 13 or 14 years old. She looked like that, okay, but actually she was 17 years old. Was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train. This little girl, she was very nervous yet she was very excited. So both, I think you know the meaning of nervous and excited. You know, nervous, but she was very excited because uh, she felt the vibrations of the approaching train now other people they will hear the sound of the train approaching the horn of the train or the sound which the train makes on the tracks but Evelyn Glenny Evelyn Glenny she felt the vibrations of the ground when the train was approaching it was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London so it was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London so what is uh, prestigious Royal Academy of Music prestigious means something very famous okay Royal Academy is the name of the uh, school okay it is an academy it is a school and what kind of school is this it is a musical school okay where we can learn music so and where what is it was in London so uh, it was whose first day was this it was the first day of Evelyn Glennie in where in a prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London so it was her first day so it obviously a first day in such a big uh, uh, institution in such a big school will be very daunting and what is the meaning of daunting daunting means something very hard Okay, it is worse. And why was it daunting? Let us see. Daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a Scottish farm. So, coming in such a big prestigious uh, school of music from a 
very small scottish firm now what is scottish firm scottish firm means scottish means who are related to scotland okay of scotland is called scottish and scottish firm means uh, you can say a rural area of uh, scotland okay a village part of scotland where people used to do agriculture and all in hindi we say gaon okay so they first see came from a scottish village okay and it was not uh, common for uh, her because uh, in the royal academy of uh, london all the people are from high fa- profile families from the cities big cities rich pupils and she was a little girl from a scottish farm so it was daunting enough it was hard for her difficult for her to adjust there but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most she was profoundly deaf so but this was not the only problem this was not the only problem she faced she was uh, having another big problem okay so this uh, this uh, musician this uh, uh, very aspiring okay this very energetic this very enthusiastic musician this uh, musician this little girl she had a bigger challenge than what other people had and what was her challenge she was profoundly deep that means she was deeply she was very much deep she was very much deep profoundly deep means too deep okay so you could not hear the things so how did this happen let us see evelyn glanis loss of hearing had been gradual her mother remembers noticing something when uh, not something was wrong when the 8 year old evelyn glanis was waiting to play the piano they called her name and she didn't move so how did evelyn glanis lose her hearing it was it was it has been gradual means slowly it has been increasing and increasing day by day her mother remembers that when she was 8 year old okay she was about to play piano but when from the stage her name was called like evelyn come and the next participant is evelyn they used to call like this to play piano but she didn't move from her seat that means she didn't heard that her name has been called okay she didn't move I suddenly realized she hadn't heard says Isabel Glenny so her mother says that her mother's name is Isabel Glenny she says that she realized that Evelyn did not move from his seat when she was being called upon again and again to play piano for quite a while Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers so for quite a while famous for many a days for for long time long time not actually for a short time you can say but for some time for some time evelyn tried to conceal means tried to hide okay she didn't try wanted everyone to know that she was deaf so she tried to hide herself she tried to act like she used to hear okay she used to she tried to hide from her teachers and her friends that she could not uh, listen to them she was growing deaf but the time she was 11 her marks had deteriorated and her had mr urged her parents to take her to a specialist so but again as uh, as time grew and when she was 11 years old her marks became very less in the school she got very poor marks and her head mistress head mistress means the her here uh, the head of the teacher she was a lady so it is called head mistress head mistress is the uh, uh, female gender of headmaster okay she urged urged me requested her parents to take her to a specialist to have, uh, to have a complete check up of what evelyn was going through what problems she had it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual ner- nerve damage so then her parents took her to a specialist and then they found that she had uh, evelyn had a had a deep uh, uh, impaired as a problem of hearing she had a great uh, uh, problem of 
her nerve damage her nerves in of the ears were damaged so she could not listen to anything okay she could not hear they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and see you have i think you all have seen in your life some people who were not able to uh, listen carefully they used to use hearing aids okay there is something like earphones which help them to capture the sound of the of someone who speaks to them okay so she used hearing aids everything suddenly looked black says evelyn so it was a very sad moment for a young girl a teenager girl who was in the peak of her life she could learn new things she could make her uh, career from there but suddenly she found out what that she was deep her nerve damage and she will not recover it so suddenly it turned black suddenly it looked black when suddenly her future seemed black to him she was totally destroyed she was very sad so it seemed everything suddenly looked black means there was no hope for him there was no light for her she thought that her future is finished okay so that means everything has suddenly looked black says it okay students up to this much uh for today your next uh, page and the remaining chapter will be taught to you in your next chapter okay that's all for